Hi, everybody. Welcome to our new video of Just Ask G. This is a series of videos that we talk all about real estate. With us today, as always, is our beautiful G. Hey, G, what's up? How are you? I am good. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. Another day yes. in real estate in Colorado. Another, another day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what yeah, do we have today? today? Oh, well, I jumped ahead. My apologies. Oh, today sorry. is cool. Um, no worries. No, it's my fault. Um, today's cool. We have, I'm um, super excited. We have Troy Hayes. He is the uh, one of the owners of Next Door Photography here in Colorado. My, yeah, I tell this about everybody. Everybody's my go-to people it's because they're awesome and amazing. That's true. Um, but, Troy, but Troy does all the photography for all of my listings, my photography, my video, my drone, my everything. He does an amazing job. So he's, he's with us. So, all right, let's tap him in. Yep. Let's do that. Hey, Troy, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're great. Thank you so much for being good. with us. Thank you so much for being a part of, of this video series. So Troy, before we get into the question, I would like for you to introduce yourself to our followers. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for having me on. Uh, yeah, like you said, my name is Troy. I am uh, one of the local owners here in Denver for Next Star Photos. Uh, we do real estate photography um, and try to, yeah, be a one-stop shop for, for all of your media. So um, specifically with realtors and helping homeowners uh, showcase, showcase their homes beautifully. Awesome. And Troy has much more than just still photography. He's got aerial video, drone footage, actual like live walkthrough tours really yeah. great packages yeah yeah absolutely like i said we try to try to provide all of the media on the market today to help you uh yeah to help you capture the best value for your home uh and, and get the yeah get the best price uh, on the yeah. market and those live walkthrough tours especially in the state of the world today have been key to people being able to see these homes without having yeah. to fly her here to walk through them or all of that yeah. has been really really helpful yeah, absolutely. Walkthrough videos, um, you know, other things that have been super popular are 3D tours and floor plans, which just help people really get a, uh, just get a sense for the space and, and kind of how it feels and, you know, if they can make a decision uh, without actually needing to come see the property. Awesome. Yeah. And I know that people know that uh, the importance of having a good photography at home. So one of our of our viewers, her name is Kinsey. She's from Colorado Springs. She has a question for you, Troy. Troy. So the question is, how do I prepare for photography for my home? Yeah, that's an excellent, excellent question, Kinsey. Um, I think, yeah, from my perspective, one thing that we, we try to do on all of our orders is send out a, a free checklist for, for how to clean the house and, and things to kind of look out for. But um, even in doing that, one of the, one of the biggest things that I consistently see, uh, when I walk into a house, I'm getting ready to photograph it is, um, just the counter space, whether that's in the kitchen or the bathroom, um, really want to declutter those spaces. Uh, we want to take things, uh, off the counters that people don't really want to see in the photos, right? Like they want to see the space. They want to feel like, how does it, how is it going to feel if they, if they walked in there and no one lived there or, you know, what it's going to look like for them to live in. So, um, you know, different things on the countertops, whether that's, uh, you know, napkin holders or dish rags or uh, in the bathrooms, like toothbrushes, like no one wants to see a toothbrush in their photo. So, um, so that, that's like one of the, one of the biggest things in preparing a house, I would say is, is getting those countertops nice and clear. Absolutely. That is definitely a big one. And, and when it comes to countertops, especially in the kitchen, remember you may have really, really beautiful, upgraded, fancy countertops. You don't yes. want to cover that up with your toaster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let them see it, let them see exactly. it so they can touch it and feel yeah. it and, you know, get an idea yes. for it. And then of course, bathroom is a big thing. You know, no toothbrushes, no toothpaste, put your hairbrush away. You know, the same thing. You could have a very beautiful upgraded bathroom with a brand new van or you know, a luxury sink and, and, and hardware. And all of that gets lost with one single toothbrush laying next to it. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. It can really make a make or break a photo. So uh, totally. When yeah. I think kind of, you know, overall in general, like if we were to generally answer this question to people, 
number one is do your best to limit the amount of your personal effects. So, you know, yeah. toothbrush on the, on the bathroom counter, you know, um, photo, photos, family photos, you know, a few are okay, but, but too many is too many, you know, it's, yeah. we have to remember that people are looking at it and trying to envision themselves in this space. And if it's, if they are overcome with who's already been there, it doesn't, it's not as invi as inviting. Yeah. Yeah. And it can definitely be distracting. Um, you know, you want people to be able to, um, yeah, to just see the space and experience the space and not necessarily, um, yeah, the things that are in the space. Very cool. And a couple of things that I have kind of noticed too, since, since we kind of talk about the things that we, that we pick up, um, and I actually have a picture of it, Alondra, if you want to get it ready. Um, so in the kitchen, you know, we all have our, our favorite dish rag, you know, our dish towel or our, our hot pad that we just love. And we just always have it out because it's our go-to, our go-to tool. But the bummer yeah. is, is that when we leave those behind, if you, if you can kind of zoom in a little bit on that photo for us, Alondra, see the two little dish towels hanging on the stove yes. and how distracting that is, you know, they're not, yeah. they're not hanging right. They're two different colors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, completely. Absolutely. I know as soon as you, and you, those, you, you see the pictures and you, you stop right there, you know, you're like, Ugh. yep, absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, if you took those two out of there that now we have a beautiful photo, but right now we kind of have a cluttered photo. Mm -hmm. So it's, and you, and also, this is also a good example of the countertops. You can see they've got their dish rack up there with dishes in it and stuff like that. Yep, Ideally we would be hiding those things in the cupboard so that those photos look so much better. Yeah, and I think both of these things really highlight a main room that people are like, people like potentially are buying the home for the kitchen in the house. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like the yes. like people spend a lot of time in the kitchens, and so um, you really want to give the give the kitchen the best, uh, just to present it in the best light um, because people right. are really looking to see if if that kind of fits their style or what their needs are. And Troy, you had an example too. You had one you wanted to show us the difference between. One little tweet yeah. versus, yeah. Yeah, um, Do you have that, that little video that Troy shared? Yeah, Can yeah, I do, that? I do. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. okay. All right. This is it, right, yeah. Troy? Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is it. So this is in a, a bedroom. Um, and you can see if you look um, – on the the bedside table there on the right hand side you have one lamp stand that's good and then the other on the right that just like the lamp is off and so as we go through this video you can you can see like it's down and now it's up and like what a difference what oh, a difference yeah. that makes um so the and first, so, wow first frame first frame no lampshade second frame there is a lampshade and yeah, yeah it totally balances out because otherwise that single light bulb was just hanging out in the back there. And you're like, what exactly. is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and this might seem like a, a really minor detail, but um, again, like the presentation of your home um, is, is going to give like a representation to the next homeowner of like how well the home was taken care of. And if somebody sees something like that, like um, they may get some preconceived notions about other things that may or may not be taken care of in That's the true. home. And so um, and, then, yep. and again, that may or may not even be true, but so you, mm -hmm. you want to do as much as you can to, uh, to give off the best presentation of your house, um, and really get people to kind of come and take a look at it. So cool. And then I have one more for us. Um, it's about bed making. I think that, you know, myself included when, when we're kind of prepping things, we forget that a camera has a very different eye than our, our eyes and cameras pick up shadows. The lens picks up shadows unlike anything else. So if you see this bed and you see how wrinkly it is, that's because the camera picks up that difference in light, unlike our own natural eye. So our natural eye walking in, it's not going to look that wrinkly, but it does in a photograph. So, yeah. you know, straight, straightening that, that bed cover before you walk out is, is going to be key to this photo. Now, if you can imagine, you know, having that straight, it would there wouldn't be all those shadows. You'd be looking more at the space as a, of the room as opposed mm -hmm. to your eye focusing right into the center, into the bed. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And again, this is just one of those little details of, um, yeah, that can like really like take a photo from, yep, this is just a bedroom 
um, or like this is a bedroom I can envision myself being in or um, really just being a distracting thing. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, especially with it being in the center of the photo, it's like the first thing you see. And so um, it's hard to kind of kind of get past that when that's the first thing. Totally. So, yeah. So I think, you know, as far as Tinsy's concerned and of course everybody else, it's it, it yeah. can be a lot of details. Number one, you know, eliminate as much of your own personal belongings, anything that screams something very specific about your personality. Try to try to just hide that. You know, you don't have to do it for very <laughs> long. It's just for a couple of days. Um, keep things, you know, decluttered as possible as you possibly can. We will always give you a nice, you know, we'll give you a checklist to help you kind of remember all those things. Um, and a couple other things that a lot of people but really forget because they're so focused inside is they forget about outside, like yes. mowing the lawn yep, or, you true. know, moving, moving, you know, hubby's work truck down the street. So when the photographer comes, it's not in the, it's not the driveway blocking the view to the garage or that, yeah. you know, son, your, your son's hoopty <laughs> isn't parked in front of <laughs> <Yeah>. the house. <laughs> when the photographer comes and you see the car instead of the walk up to the house. Um, yeah. So those things, make sure you do do a pass outside, you know, pick up your lawn as best as you can try to remove any cars that, you know, don't absolutely have to be there so that all of that can be seen and accessed. Um, and then, Oh, pets. You want to talk to us about pets? Yeah. Yeah. And this is another thing that we kind of run into. It's just, you know, have people, um, you know, having, having either like dog cages out or food and water bowls or, um, or toys cat, everywhere, cat, scat, cat scratch stands. Um, mm -hmm. as much as we can, we want to put those in the garage or an unfinished basement or storage area. Mm -hmm. Um, again, like when we talk about like cleaning up your house for showings, super important because people are going to be there looking. Um, but doing the same for photos is equally important because, yes. Uh, it's going to, it's really going to help determine like how many people come and see because the photos yeah. are a big, big determination and like whether or not they even want to come look at it in person. So, absolutely, uh, yeah. Well, I think it's, it's key. It's worth mentioning when you're selling your home, your photography is your advertisement. So, you know, if you're going to buy a million dollar ad for the, for the Super Bowl, do you want the only image that you have in that ad being a wrinkly bed? I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's really yeah. key that because that that is our key to our marketing and our advertising is what does the home actually look like, um, you know, inside and out. So if you remember it that way, that this, you know, the, these photos are your brand. They are what you are selling and they are what you are offering. Exactly. And if you think of it in that way and take it to that to that degree of importance. I think all of this stuff will really make sense and kind of end up being real easy for you to do if you have that mindset. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. So yes, Troy, thank you so much for that because it, it, it is great information. And like I was saying, um, for the viewers out there, um, if you would like to set your house um, for photography, here's your go-to guy. He has a checklist, right? You were saying about a checklist that you have for all the people yeah. that want to do it themselves. So, um, checklist. yes, there, checklist. It, is. That's there right. it is. So That's in the right. description, I'm going to leave Troy's information so you can write to him directly and he can re uh, you can reach out to him. He can send you the free shoot, um, checklist. And if you have any questions or if you want to hire him, or if you want to know more about him, just Grow, grab his information, give him a call and remember that we're here to help. So thank you so much. I don't know if you want to add something else. I remember that there was something about uh, uh, like a trash can, the trash can that we spoke the other day. Remember that was something yeah. like really, that I even check now in my house uh, to, like, <laughs> like for pictures, yeah. whenever I'm going to take a selfie or something, just make sure that there's no, not a trash no can trash there. Can. <laughs> no yeah. Trash can. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that just goes back to the kitchen, right? Like that's yep. mainly where people keep the, the trash yeah. can. And again, you want, you want the kitchen to be as clean and neat as, as any room in the house. And so um, a trash can is like, it's kind of like a closet. We wouldn't take a photo of it normally. Um, right. And so just kind of toss that in the pantry or in the garage. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of take it from there. Yeah. And your outdoor, I was thinking too, your outdoor trash cans, you know, if it's, if it's yes. trash day in the morning that we're going to do photography, 
you know, let us know so that we can move the cans or run home from work before the photographer gets there and pull those out of the way so that they're not in your photos. Absolutely. All right. So very cool. Thank you so much, Troy. And before we say goodbye to our viewers, where can we find you? Where uh, can we check you out? Yeah, uh, you can find us on you know Facebook, Instagram. Um, it's uh, NDP Denver. NDP as in Next Door Photos. Um, so yeah, check us out on there. We got some cool videos and photos posted. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much, Troy. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for having me again. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Remember to subscribe for more awesome stuff. And thank you for being a part of us. Just is just ask G. Bye, everybody. Bye.